Hello guys and welcome to episode 31 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign playing as Isabella von Karstein leading the vampire counts to world domination. Today we are hopefully going to be smashing through the empire lines and heading round towards Agualon. I'm also going to want to hopefully save Blackstone Post. We're actually under siege here I just realised by Grom which is not ideal. Because he's got a lot of nasty skulkers that are going to be really, really scary to deal with, actually. With their 49 melee attack, he can buff goblins massively. It's going to be a valiant defeat on the order resolve. He does have a war. We actually had a mortis engine in the garrison, though, so... Maybe we just ball up, grind it out. That could be an idea before he starts causing too much attrition, but we won't do that yet. I'll do it if I remember at the end of the turn, which will probably not. <laughs> um, first things first, we'll just go through things in order. So, do I want to take Crystal Valley? Like, honestly, probably not. I think our best bet is to just run around here, get to Waterfall Palace as quickly as possible, wipe out everything here and uh, go from there. So let's zoom on up with Wilmar. Uh, we don't need to go and attack Sentinels. We can probably go for Black Fortress. I'm going to assume that this is Van Richtus. Oh, that was a Pyrrhic victory. Oops. I uh, do I want to sack it. We'll loot and occupy, I think. This night. That way we get some immediate replenishment and I'm definitely going to be taking it because if I were to click sack and then I move back and I didn't have movement range, that would have been really bad. So we'll get the mentor maxed out. Brilliant. And yeah, we'll chill out here. I don't think I want this, so we'll demolish it. We'll fix that up. Great. Okay, over to Lennart. So where did Kazrak go? Because I might want to start coming down here to help. Like Milland can start heading over to Castle Templehof. I think we might have to bring Lennart down. I also want to give him the Mortis Engine anyway, so I think that kind of works out. Kislev did take Zavastra, so we'll take that on the way back up. Yeah, we're going to march all the way down here. And if it's convenient, we'll settle a settlement on the way down as well. But meanwhile, Ulrich Barakmir. No. Erengrad looking kind of good for the attack. I mean, it's a lot of Norse and Warhounds, so in an extended melee, they're not going to do too great. I think we just go down here, take this back, then head north afterwards. Although this army of Gisu has moved behind us. That's so annoying. <laughs> Why are they going to be so annoying? Let's go take this. I'm going to play it out because... I think the Pyrrhic victory is not going to be that good for us. Yeah, look at that order of resolve. <laughs> okay. It should be fine. Like, all the Norskan Warhounds is like pouring into the melee at the gate. Well, it should just get wrecked. We do at least have an unholy lodestone for the rege uh, regeneration in that melee as well. Okay. Let's have a look for a good way in. I don't think there really is a good way in. Maybe on this side. I think this side's actually better. Well, they both have these like weird bridges. But we're going to go from this side. It's pretty much just a matter of line up and hit the gates, I think. Make sure the corpse cart's right at the front. There he goes. 
So he has the Ghoul King of Asharan, which is a regeneration ability that has 120 second cooldown. So it's really, really good. It's not just like a one use. He's also got Undeath Resurgent and Tormentor Sword. Like, it's really, really nice. I don't want these to end up on the floor because otherwise they'll get wrecked. Have they built a tower yet? They have. Let's go take that out. I don't mind if my lord comes down here, although I do want to make sure that he's helping with the gate at least. Tower, there we go. Brilliant. I'm just gonna have him dive in here. I don't know what to do with these bats. Maybe we just like leave them for now. It's not terribly useful. At least most of my forces are in the gate now, which is good. We've got my unholy lodestone in the middle, giving us all the regeneration. Let me just grind it out now. Uh, my banshee can actually go for the marauder chieftain though. Because the Banshee is ethereal. Really easy to get them on top of those. Looks like she's doing a good amount of damage. He's also doing a fantastic amount of damage. So many Norskin Warhounds here. They're just really not going to be any good in this scenario. They are great when they can flank and they can run in and out of combat, but when they get caught in a melee like this, they're just going to die. Well, they do have like frostbite attacks, the Norskin Warhounds, I think. Oh no, they don't. Oh, interesting. They're just normal, normal doggos. Even worse for them. So I was thinking if they have frostbite attacks, maybe they do a bit of extra damage to the can race, but I'm not sure if it counts as a magical attack. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Slowly but surely grinding them down. Might do Book of Arcan on one of these. Get some more damage down. Good chunk of damage there. Exactly what I wanted. 
I saw that they were very tightly compact there. Just right click till I win, I think, on this sprite. I wonder if it'd be faster at any point to just try and like get on top of these uh, victory locations. They're just so far away. It's very difficult to do that. Every unit we're coming across we're just killing so fast. keep the blob together to keep going forwards we'll end up capturing this point pretty fast destroy all of these buildings I'm surprised they're not really going after us so hard, it's like, it's taking me a while here. I don't really mind if they capture this back, I'm just capturing it in the first place there just gets rid of a lot of the towers very quickly. The thing is I don't really have any spells that can speed this up. If I had like a pit of shades or something here, we could just do it on the edge of these engagements and kill a lot of things much quicker. Now what I'm going to do, we're going to get my bats over here. The other thing is we don't have a Morse engine, so that's why a lot of things are taking quite a bit longer. unit. I might have the bats go in there. Okay, finally. That is job done. So Ulrich, without any offensive spells, almost got like 200 kills in that battle. I mean, it says 252 now, but in the load screen it was less. Alright, let's take that back. Thank you very much. Erengrad docks. Very nice. Uh, I'm not going to upgrade it yet. I'm not sure what that was we got, but it gave us physical resistance. I don't think the Book of Arkans is a really good one for us to hold on to. I'm going to give him the Armor of Destiny though. I'll give him a Dawnstone. Any other items that are worth having? That was this one, the Staff of Damnation, extra 5% physical resistance, plus 40 melee attack. <laughs> nice. Potion of Speed, probably better than Crown of Command maybe. Mm, actually no, Crown of Command's pretty nice for him. Because it means that if I want to cast spells then we can make sure that he can by using Crown of Command before he loses leadership. Because there are some spells like Invocation that you can't cast uh, while you have no leadership. Let's go for Undying Horde maxed out. Right, Precise is probably the next thing we want to go for. Let's move over to Morath Morthen. 
So we can go Crittenwald. I could also go over to Wolfenberg. Take care of Akold Doomheimer. The other choice is like take Crittenwald and then go to Brass Keep pretty quick. Just occupy that. Surprise. Oh, we have got the plague. I was going to say, I'm surprised the army hasn't got the plague, but I think it does. Uh, let's make sure Ray is dead. And we'll go over to Volker. Right, still chasing around Tretch. Fixing up everything as we go. <laughs> it's taking this army out of the way so much. Alright, time for Lisa von Diesel and Heinrich Kemmler to attack into Oberstreich. This is going to be a crazy battle. Oberstreich does have walls. I think because they have so many outriders, we probably want to attack the walls. I'm going to encircle this. And we're going to use a secondary army to kill the reinforcements. Okay, well, we couldn't kill them, but made them retreat once, which means if they join this battle and they lose, then we are in a very good spot. This is actually going to be a big battle, <laughs> and this on rocket battery, we're going to have to make sure that dies. The only way we can do it is with the Falbat, so it's going to be like an important mission for them. And there's also some mortars that we might want to kill. This is going to be crazy. Just check the battle map before we go in. Just to make sure that I'm not being ridiculous. Yeah, it's actually a good map for us. There's a lot of stuff in the way. A lot of buildings in the way. So the main part of this army is the hex or the Ken race and the Morse engine. I don't know if I want to wait. I mean, I probably do for the main force. So what we can do, there's no rush, right? So I think we'll just bring all the cav back here. That's really cool. <laughs> Look at this line of cavalry. In an open field battle, these would be absolutely amazing. These black knights. 44 melee attack, 42 melee defense. Pretty decent. Let's uh, just start the battle. Oh, I forgot to bring over my uh, other lot here. That's okay. We're going to move them maybe over here. There's no like towers or anything from walls that are going to be hitting us anyway, so... We'll just move around the edge. But yeah, primarily I'm just gonna bash right through the middle. With the Ken race, the Morse engine, and all of the chaff that's coming with Hyrule Kemmler. And then the Cav can maybe hit the flanks. We shall see. I gotta find the Hellstone rocket battery. There it is. Uh, where is the mortar? I have no idea. We'll see it firing at some point. Alright, let's get. Good old Krell on board. He can start running forwards because he doesn't die. He looks awesome. You're just going to break down that. Yep. <laughs> just run through the tent. Look how cool that is. 
so awesome. Yeah, we can run Heinrich Kamner in that with Kral. Meanwhile, maybe I use my Blood Dragon, Lisa Van Diesel, to attack the Hellstorm Rocket Battery as well. Currently, the Hellstorm Rocket Battery is actually over there on its own, so I think that now is actually a good chance for us to go get it. I'm going to split these off into two groups. Start approaching the flanks. Okay, in we go. Big mistake. Oh, some rocket battery taken out. That's good. Where is the mortar? That is the one thing I'm really looking for. I'm probably just missing it. I don't know. Maybe it's going to come in with the reinforcements because it's too much on the map already. Alright, Demogriff Knights with Halberds, lovely. Right, let's go and kill the crossbows. We can have these help with the crossbows afterwards as well. Oh, some Demogriff Knights have come over here. But those Demogriff Knights are actually really good at dealing with these units. <laughs> but I think we just slam in there anyway. There is uh, a lot going on. We're taking a lot of damage from these outriders of grenade launchers. We've got to push through. Yes. Oh, wow. Did a nice chunk of damage there to the Demogriff Knights with Halberds initially. It's huge. Well, there is a lot of troops. And it's definitely causing a little bit of lag. I think the AI is just trying to figure out what to do, and it's causing the animation lag. Oh, the Demogriff Knight with Halberd. Mortis engine. Oh, 
Let's uh, go take out the Demogriff Knights with Halberds. Over here. Things are looking okay. Keep the low health units topped up. These uh, outriders of grenade launchers are really annoying. Probably capture this. Darkness comes. Let's get the dogs in here. Try and help out with the flanks. Because we're losing a lot of my black knights right now. Because we're just being like free shot here. This is the bad part about like settlement engagements. For cavalry. Pretty much don't have yeast. Maybe I shouldn't have just committed to that engagement. The Demogriff Knights with Halberds held really well. Because they enjoyed, well, joined the engagement afterwards. So that really kind of stung. And the Outriders of the Grenade Launchers just really doing a lot of damage. Let's get my... We're going to have to pull these out soon. But we'll capture this first. Now what we're going to do is just focus on keeping my cab mobile as much as I can. I can just have my lord deal with that, that infantry on that side. The blob's doing fine. We did lose some of the bats there. That's okay. I lost a unit of Blood Knights actually to the Demigriff Halberds. We're going to have to rely on some Dead Rise again, I think. Tonight I feast. Go get those outriders. Well, we could also go get the archers there. Mm. I don't know. I don't really want to go up here. We'll get flanked and end up fighting into halberds.
Oh, we can have the blob move up there. Might have to have my guy over here get some help. Maybe we can send Krell over. The Empire Captain will probably have a pretty bad time in the middle of all my cab. Taking any damage though. Definitely losing more than I would have hoped. I didn't really play this very well. Like splitting up the cavalry initially seemed like a good idea. But I think what would have been better is if I'd just been patient with the blob and force them all to come into me and then just like slipped my cav round the flanks of the blob so that I can engage the outriders with the grenade launchers. Oh, he can't heal anymore. So we need to be really careful. And Crow can do the job. I can also get the cab to come run down the archers. What you know is that. Oh, my dog is. Okay. I don't think like dogs or bats. Not too concerned about losing. Yes, Lich Master. Fear the two. Still a long way to go in this battle. Plenty more Outriders of Grenade Launchers to kill. Gonna be pretty rough. Yeah, this is sort of situation that I should have waited for where I got my blob here, they're trying to flank with the Outriders and I can just like counter, counter them with the cavalry. That's the best part. <laughs> Just going round and round with these guys. Get them. Like, surely they're going to turn around soon. Outriders versus Black Knights, that's fine. Get them healed up a little bit. Order of the Vampire Lord. 
Okay, that unit that we were attacking is routed, so let's move on to the next. I actually completely forgot about the mortars. They've actually been doing some damage. They've got a lot of ammo off. running them off the field. I really need to get rid of these cab behind us. Gonna run around like headless chickens, so we're gonna have to move back. Let's keep the blob together so we get the regeneration at least. Got these coming around the back so that we can get into the mortars. I find it very strange how they're able to like walk away from us so easily. Usually your forces would get kind of stuck. Or at least you know the AI would like force themselves to engage you once you actually caught up to them. But for some reason these days they just kind of keep trying to run away. And if you have any unit that's faster than them they just die. But if you are slower than them, or a bit fatigued, that's right pain in the ass. Okay, finally. I'm his army losses. Crikey, what a battle. I mean, really bad battle for me, honestly. I don't think I should have lost half as much as I did, especially from Lisa Von Diesel's army. <laughs> I always love the name, though. We got the Dead Rides again for everything. <laughs> okay, don't take it. Only one direwolf actually got killed. Sure. Alright, we will loot and occupy that so we get the replenishment on those forces. Alright, fix that up. Demolish that. Great. These Von Diesel got the plague, but he's still getting replenishment, so that is fine. Yeah, crazy stuff. How we got away with that, I do not know. Evil Souls, Magical Animus, and soon we'll have the Dread Knights. I guess this is one thing that you got to love about the vampire accounts is uh, if you do really mess up, sometimes the uh, Dead Rise again saves you. In this case, it saved me a lot. <laughs> uh, let's just replace that doggo with some bats. I'll also grab a Crypt Horror in there. I mean, maybe it was because Heinrich Kemmler also had Dead Rise again. Not sure. 
The other thing I was thinking about is maybe I just hand off all the Cairnwraiths to Heinrich Kemmler because he does have these bonuses for them. And if we give him evil souls, I don't know, because I kind of want to keep like Lisa von Diesel's uh, Kenris in his army, because it's the only way that he's going to be able to take settlements in the future. Okay, Roderick, what are you going to do? we got to go this way, I think, and take the Temple of Heimkill next turn and then we move up to frozen landing and take that and that'll be the end of the god of madney i think that's the way we got to do it yeah okay let's see what else do we need to do felix gains is under attack isn't he yeah so i think we can probably do that battle let's just try and get some wounds in Wow. Double fail. Hmm. One was only like a 30% chance, but the other one was 67. The uh, let's go over to Walmond. Carry on south. Might be worth uh, checking these. I kind of know that they are probably Skaven, though. How about a debt? Nothing in that army to kill. Maybe I actually head back on myself. Because the any any that I've wounded and not killed will pop up at the Howling Citadel. So we can just kill them again. We're actually up to 10 blood guesses, which is really good. I'm definitely going to be getting... The Von Karstein's maxed out next, so we can get Sylvanian handgunners, and then we can put them in Lenart's army. Okay, and Carlotta Morphin, also leveled up. But yeah, we'll do the battle against Grom next time. Yeah, I'm going to leave it here for today. It should be a relatively simple battle, just because we have the Mortis engine in Blackstone Post. We'll overwhelm him and his war pretty easily like it's not too many trolls it's just a lot of goblins so yeah we should be fine should be i just got to make sure i get rid of the goblin rock lobbers which we can do since we do have some bats and some black knights yeah should be fun all right that's it for now hope you guys have enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye